case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 2011 Riley XRL and Plumacher v. Ceridian Corp case, the United States Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit focused on the idea that in order to bring a lawsuit, an individual must have actually been hurt in a specific and real way and be able to prove the harm is currently happening or very likely to occur soon. Kathy Riley and Patricia Plumacher, employees of a law firm that used Ceridian Corporation's payroll processing services, filed a complaint against Ceridian after a security breach in December 2009. They claimed an increased risk of identity theft, costs incurred to monitor their credit activity, and emotional distress. Yet the court ruled they lacked standing as no evidence of actual harm or injury was presented. The court held that the claims were based on hypothetical future injuries and thus did not establish standing under Article 3 of the Constitution. The district court's order granting the respondent's motion to dismiss was affirmed, as Riley and Plumacher did not plead specific facts demonstrating their standing to sue. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of glass.